Hello and welcome back to Star's Galaxy of Heroes Series the Grand Arena, the final opponent for the week and for the championship battle of this whole bracket is Lord Island Ice T. I don't know if I said iced or ice, but you get what I mean. So he's got Ray and Malgus and, and Inquisitors and other stuff up north. Meanwhile, down south, he's got Lord Vader, JML, GMK, Maul, and Jabba. So he went extremely heavy on defense and he already attacked my north zone. I guess to get things rocking and rolling. And uh, yeah, an odd mod setup on Ben there. Health and crit damage. Armor, resistance pin, and all sorts of other fun goodies on this resistance Datacron here. But uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe and all that other fun stuff. I'm on the goal now towards getting 500. I know in video a while ago I said 1k is the goal for this year. That is still the goal. But 500 is obviously before 1k and I need to get to there first before I hit, <laughs> uh, aim for 1k kind of thing, you know? But uh, yeah. Lord Vader versus Ray, A Relic 6 Ray at that. So it'll be pretty straightforward, you would imagine. I probably should have unloaded those stacks on Ray so she would lose the uh, inspired thing. Is that what it is? Insp what is it? It's, it's something inspiration, I think. It, it is. I can't remember. It's been so long since I actually remembered what it was. Mostly because I do not have Ray. I mean, I'm going to work towards getting her eventually. But, um, not at the moment. I need to get, um, Afrin and some outlying characters out of the way. Oh, great. We lost them all already. This is not shaping up to be good. Uh, yeah. And while we're sitting here waiting for the fight to pick pace, I'm just gonna look at the, uh... Yeah, it is inspired. That's what it was. That's what that little blue buff... It's not really a buff. Well, I guess it is, but really not at the same time, if that makes any sense. But yeah, the less stacks that she has on herself, the better things are on for us. Reason she can't do just all sorts of silly things. However, being blinded and healing immunity in a lower raider is not exactly helping at the moment. Uh, just not working out in general. Okay, we lost World Guard. Um, hmm. Though at least we lost the healing immunity finally, but we're armor shredded, which is... Uh, I mean, we could do without the armor shred, but my Lord Vader is extremely... I, okay, I, I want to say he's extremely well modded, but he might not be to some people, but I feel like he is decently modded at least. Okay, let's get Ray going. Well, going. Let her get out of her ult so we can maybe kill... Hoda, or not. Apparently that was my first time I got him below 50% health. Can we at least kill him? No, because she puts lifeblood on him immediately. Ah, okay. Uh. This is not going well. Because if I fail, then I won't have another GL to use down south because, well, he's got five of his seven GLs. Yes, he has all seven GLs and he went this defensive heavy. Which is a fair play. Especially in 3v3 if you don't really care or think you're going to win regardless kind of thing. Okay, well, that, <laughs> hmm, uh, that's not the best way to start things off, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so... And the reason why I always use C against Malgus is because uh, I don't have my gas in 501st optimally modded. I haven't worked on mods on them in ages, honestly. Uh, and then my Sith trio was on defense. 
for uh, the second week. The pyro kiz the the pyro person, uh, they fought it last week. They didn't. They beat it in one go, which is fair. It was only. It was an odd setup because I found it on SWH.GG when it's how it went. It didn't go very well, but that's fine. I can't remember if he wasted a gel on it or if they wasted... I don't remember what they wasted it on. Uh, my Trigger team. Let's see. Gak History. What did Pyro Zenka do? Um... Oh, he used to, okay, so yeah, they wasted a, he wasted their Kylo Ren on my Treya team in the back zone, that was impressive. Okay, anyways, back to Lord Island Ice team. Killed all of them, we can move on to less fun things. Hmm, what do we got here, health and protection. TM, that's not really going to stop them or really help me. Help, what? Help them is what I mean. Why is that going to help me? Uh, it's not going to help them much because I'm just going to throw um, Iden against it and stomp them into the ground. So, make a, of that, make, uh, what the hell? Make of that what you will. Is that what I was trying to say? I don't know. But yeah, the fact that Trey copped a GL is enough for me. So the reason why this guy had already attacked was because he, like I said, he had already attacked North, and he had failed on my Savage Star Killer team with SLKR somehow. I don't really know how he did, but he did. So that was cool. And that was the only team they had failed on up north before I started attacking. And we have now beaten them in terms of score at the moment. And the problem is, is I need to figure out something for Ray. And I really didn't want to use a second GL, but because I failed with Lord Vader, that really doesn't leave me, it doesn't really leave me much option now, does it? So we're going to go with GMK. That makes really makes the South Zone unclearable now, and that's all just due to my own misplay against Ray with my Lord Vader. And also, I don't think I—I I mean, I don't have enough GLs to beat. I mean, okay, yes, I do. Technically, I have five GLs for offense, but the thing is, is I would have had to been extremely, extremely good with like the counters against uh, all of them. Like I could have done JMK, uh, Mir, I could have done a Lord Vader Mir. No, I couldn't have done Lord Vader Mir. Um, I could have maybe tried. Uh, mm, no, Sith Eternal wouldn't have worked against this. Uh, actually, no, I couldn't have done much because with Lord Vader and JMK down south, I would have had to use something extremely risky against his uh, Lord Vader. Well, I could have maybe done uh, Imperial Troopers, maybe. I don't know. I haven't tried Imperial Troopers in 3v3 yet, to be completely honest with you guys. I worry they wouldn't have enough oomph to get through all the defensive loaded uh, Datacrons that people seem to have right now. Which is fair. Okay, we lost... General Kenobi, that's fine. These two should be more than enough to deal with uh, Ben and Ray herself. We just need to get the Inspired off of her. Okay, she has no Inspired. Um, need to hit Ben again. There we go. We might lose Cat. Or we won't. So, not the best way to deal with Ray, but it is the way I ended up going with, so it is what it is.
I don't really know why I checked the mods on a uh, their BB-8. I figured if like if they had BB-8, their BB-8 would be fast at least, you know, maybe possibly, but I guess not. Okay, so the reason why I went with Shock 5 up first because I figured it would be more than a match for this JTR team. Um, however, as you can tell, that's being proven wrong pretty, pretty damn quickly. Um, yeah, great, huh? Cool, 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 cool. Very cool. So, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I already... I mean, we already know this isn't going to be a full clear kind of situation because I don't have the GLs to deal with his down south. But it's more of a banner issue now because I can't really afford to be dropping fights whenever it'll come down to banners you know not just oh look at me i did this this and that i need to blah 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 whatever you, you guys know what i mean you be a lot more uh focused and not mess up anything in the meantime So I know this is a little bit of overkill with uh, Radis here, but I don't know. Can Radis kill? I wonder what Radis can kill GL-wise. I really don't know, to be completely honest with you. I could look and see because maybe it would be... I don't know. Would it be much of anything? You would think you'd be able to do something, right? Let's see. Now, let's see. Let's see. Best matchups for Radis. Uh, oh. Well, do they say the best matchups are Inquisitors and a Newt Separatist team? Never mind then. That blows my theory out of the water. Okay. Fleets. What do we got? Fleets. Executor. Executrix and Radis. I don't know if it's just me or what, but um, I don't understand when people put the triple attacker on defense. Like I know, I know it can trip up people if you're using the Radis and if you're using the Profundity versus the Executor. But I mean, at the same time, it's pretty easy to recover with the Profundity against the Executor, or if you get lucky and do massive amounts of damage, like I just did against Xanadu Blood. It's not as big of a worry. But maybe it's just to trip people up and strip banners. I, I don't know, man. It's... I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's already down the Razor Crest. I mean, I exactly pressed for banners. Or, um, you know. I'm not worried, basically. It's not, I'm not trying to be like, you know... Ah, look at me, and big and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm not worried because it's pretty easy to kill 
the executor with uh, profundity. Ow. That much cannot be said about uh, Lord Island Ice T, because he also did the same matchup against my executor. You know, he did profundity versus executor. However, uh, he somehow failed. I don't know where he went wrong or what the AI did to him, but he failed somehow. So maybe it isn't as straightforward as I thought. I don't know. So we've got the Palp shuttle out front, which is an interesting play, along with Vader and the TIE Bomber, which makes sense. Um, yeah. Ugh. Ah, Tie LN. Quite a frustrating ship, honestly. Pretty easy to contend with at times, but good grief does she have the damage output to back it up. I would like to not lose my Hyena Bomber from the start, please. I would like to actually have it available for the fight. Will Spy land on Vader? Well, I mean, it was going to land on Vader regardless because <laughs> he had a taunt. But the only reason why I brought her, the, brought her, brought the Spy in, I don't know how you describe a Geonosin, but uh, the only reason why I brought in the Spy was to be able to nuke um, Vader out of existence. That way they lose their target lock capabilities and I can just go ham this sit on everyone else kind of deal. There we go. Another victory. I imagine the Empire could have beaten this, right? Maybe. No, probably not, because Raz and Holdo can uh Holdo can clear the um debuffs off of her compatriots, so never mind. That probably wouldn't have been a good idea to do Empire. I mean, maybe with I mean, I had most of the Empire fleet left over anyway, so maybe it could have worked. I have no idea. But if I had failed, I would have lost to a six-star... <laughs> six-star Radis. Oh, boy. How do you not have the ship done already? It's been years since it's been in the rotation monthly for its event. I don't know, man. Maybe he just wasn't playing whenever it came out. That's also a possibility. Or maybe he's in or maybe he didn't have the ships ready for the event. I don't know. I can't rag on the guy or girl, the person, whatever. It's really hard to just figure out <laughs> it's, a, it's really hard to like name people. Be like, ah, oh, it's a dude, or maybe a girl, I don't know. Unless it's like blatantly obvious with the naming scheme kind of thing. Uh yeah. That was just a side tangent because it's very hard for me to be sure who I'm fighting kind of thing. Maybe I just called them person or they, I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. So we're now just down to Poe. Poe Dameron. That's Poe Dameron, but you know, I, I just want to mispronounce his name for the heck of it. Okay, so I should have done the second special instead of that last one. Because then, the Resistance X-Wing wouldn't have come out and made this fight a little bit longer. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. Kylo wiped the floor of them anyways. So. Got all that done. Um, we can do a couple fights down south. Not very many, obviously, because, well... Not very many to begin with. I'm trying to think because 
if had, if Lord Vader had worked, I could have done. Let's see, I could have done a JMK mirror. I could have done SLKR versus either Lord Vader or Jabba. I could have done C versus JML. Um. Who am I missing? Let's see. JMK Mir, SLK on C. I could have done Jedi Master Luke. I don't know. I don't think Jedi Master Luke versus Lord Vader or uh, Jabba would be good. I don't know, man. Just trying to think of what I could have done where it was very difficult. Let's see. Evasion, Hellsteel. I mean, we are going to do SLKR versus Jabba, anyways. So. That's kind of just a moot point. The thing was, is the Lord Vader team he has with 7th Sister and ninth Sister. It has the ninth Sister Datacron. And... Yeah. Originally, I was going to use JMK against it. So... Yeah. So if I'd done JMK like I wanted to against Lord Vader, and Kylo here obviously against Jabba, then I would have left C and JML versus a JMK and a JML. I know it's possible to beat JMK with Jedi Master Luke, but I've never done it, so I don't know how well that would have gone for me, to be completely honest. I'd have to look up I would have had to look up like a guide on that one. And I probably wouldn't have had the modding right anyway, so... Uh... Yeah, good thing I didn't do it. I've... Uh, I mean, also, like, if you want to do C versus JMK, you need armor worked on. That's one of the characters I need to work on gearing anyways, because I just haven't gotten around to her. So... But I'm planning on doing Afra next, obviously, and then... I will work on a few outlying characters I haven't gotten done. Like, like I have Grief and OG Mando at gear 12. I want to push them up to Relic 5. And then I might do Armorer and a couple other characters. I Like Juhani and Visa, I just want to push to Relic 5. Um, they're at both at Relic 3. Uh, just a couple of small things to do before I work on my Ray Rex kind of thing, you know. Oh, 24-ish percent tenacity. Ah, oh, that explains a little bit here. So we're going to do JML Mir because I don't trust him against Lord Vader at all. I, like I said, I've never done a JML versus JMK match. So I don't really want to test that in a rather close grand arena as it is at the moment. So... Yeah, mirror match it is. I mean, they've also got... Uh, it's not an exact mirror match, but you know what I mean. Uh, they've got Grandmaster Yoda. I've got old Hermit Yoda over there, but I'd prefer Hermit Yoda in this case because the protection recovery is going to be extremely key as this fight wears on. Of course, I have no ult charge, and they're already about to go into ult. That's more because my... Uh, my Jedi Master Luke's not extremely fast. He's more modded for protection uh, than anything, really. We're going to start going for Jedi Knight Luke so we can proc the little savior thing from uh, Jedi Master Luke real quick. That is, if we don't lose anyone in the meantime. Okay, well... We lost some Jedi, Luke. Uh, okay, this is not going good. Not going good at all. I need to he get healing started up because, good grief, I am not doing well. Here we go. We finally got a heal off. Of course, you know, there's still 
doing way better than I am. But uh, yeah, let's not let's not try to focus on that, shall we? Okay, come on. We need to get Jedi and Luke out of the way. Okay, he's gone. We can start hopefully focusing on Grandmaster Yoda over there. Or we can just lose my Yoda. Uh, this is not good. So the problem now is obviously it's a 1v2 match. And... They've got the upper hand. They're already in ult. Uh, pretty soon, their Jedi Master Luke's going to be able to start just ability blocking me to the entire... Just for all eternity, it feels like. And also cooldown increase me, so... Now it begins. I'm not going to be able to use any of my specials for the rest of the match here. And we're just going to slowly chip away with my basic... This is thrilling, thrilling stuff here. I mean, I understand why people make Jedi Master Luke fast, but at the same time, you need him to be at least tanky enough to survive everything kind of thing. I mean, not, why did I say kind of thing twice? But <laughs> you need him to at least live so he can do the damage. Okay. If we could kill him, that would be stellar because uh, cleaning up a lone Jedi Master Luke might be a little difficult with what I have left over at the moment. It's not improbable, it's just difficult. So the thing is, uh, after this fight is over, I'm not going to have anything else I'm able to use, obviously. So Lord Island, they started to attack my uh, defenses, which we'll get to that all after this is over. But we'll see if we can actually kill Jedi Master Luke and not have to uh, worry about failing, which is, that's the plan, is to win. At least this fight. At least that's my hope. I mean, the problem is, is he's taking two turns for every one of mine. But we finally won. With horrible banners, but we won that fight. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, he started attacking after I got done with that last attack. And the final score was 1,096 to 1,067. Uh, he got stuck extremely hard on my Grand Inquisitor because, well, he had a lot of his, like, really good counters on defense, which is his own fault. But, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if y'all enjoyed, uh, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all uh, next time with the beginning of week three. I hope you have a good day.